Well, Mark, sometimes you don't get what you deserve in football and it feels like that sort of afternoon. Well, you know, we uh, we did everything we could to score, but, you know, um, you give a soft goal away and you lose the game. But, um, you know, I, I don't want to... St- I couldn't protect the players on Tuesday evening, but, you know, today I can protect them and um, they, they give everything for the cause today. That's it, you wanted a reaction off the back of the, the defeat during the week. Was it all there except the, the goal and the result? Yeah, listen... I, as I said to you, the players put everything out on the pitch today. Every player that went on the pitch as well, the subs, everybody, you know, they give everything and um, their passion, their endeavour, their energy, their work rate, um, brilliant. But um, again, we've come out the wrong side of a result and um, we have to turn that round. In terms of the goal itself, you're punished for a mistake. Is that just something you, you can't legislate for? Well, I can't legislate for that study, but the bottom line is, you know, we have to cut down the mistakes. If we're getting punished for every mistake, we, have, we can't make mistakes. We made a mistake and we got punished, so, you know, we, um, we have to cut the mistakes out. But also, we, we have to have some more quality in the top end of the pitch and turn all of that good play into some end product. Yeah, in terms of that end product, 27 shots today. We've gone close with Ivan Sunjic, Koji Miyoshi's had a couple of efforts, one saved, one just wide is it composure is it a bit of fortune what is it that's missing in that final third well we talk we, we use the word quality and I think um, you know at this moment we're just mi- missing a little bit of quality making the right decisions around the box um, I, I don't believe it's luck you know we have to we have to do better we have to find the back of the net um, and that, that's what we have to do Three straight 1-0 defeats. The margin's so small at the moment. Does it feel like you're not far away from picking up the results we need? Yeah, it feels like we're, um, we're competing. It doesn't feel like we're, um, we're comfortable towards the end of uh, in the games. Um, we have to scrap. We have, you, know, you can see where the league is after 30, whatever it is, 38 games. We, we know what we need to do and we have to do it. The supporters stayed with them right the way through, particularly in that spell in the second half where we were on top and it felt like the pressure was mounting. Can you emphasise just how important they'll be in these remaining games? Everybody knows that the, the club needs to be united. You know, the supporters have got a million frustrations and a million emotions and, you know, sitting there, we all understand all of that. We feel for them. We feel, you know, every, but everyone's suffering and... Um, you know, we need them with us. We need them to support us. We need them to give us everything. And, and all the inquests can wait till the end of the season. It is a time when supporters will start to look at results as they come in around the grounds. Is it important, though, from your perspective and for the players that they don't get sidetracked by what's happening elsewhere and take care of, of business ourselves? <laughs> we have to get our own points. We can't, um, we, we can't rely on any other football club to, to, to do anything for us. We have, to do, we have to get our own points. We have to earn our own points. And... Um, there's no, there's no other proposition in my mind. There's no other option that we, we have to just do what we have to do. No Alex Pritchard today. How's he? And is there an early prognosis on Lukas Jukovic? Um, Alex has got like a little small calf strain, um, which he did in training. Lukas is, um, he took a bang on the head, and and, he, and his knee sort of twisted a little bit. So we're not sure about it. We're not sure whether it's a you know, a bad knee injury or, um, or or just a bang on the knee as well. So we'll have to let it settle down. And, you know, there's a, there's a bit of time between the next game now for him to, to assess the injuries. Yeah, looking ahead, we obviously go into an international break now before the running. Is this a good chance just to, to take stock and prepare for the final eight games? Listen, it's, it's in the calendar. It's what it is. You know, it's the programme. We have games midweek on a Saturday. We have to um, we have to maximise the time, a bit of rest, but also we have to work really hard. We have to come back with the same intensity and the same desire and the same purpose that we showed today, but added a bit of quality. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.